Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a bookmark using Safari. First of all, let's launch the Safari. And for example, today, let's say we want to find a particular page for celebrity. Let's say, for example, we want to go to Ronaldo's website, right? So, for example, we want to look into Ronaldo or Ronaldo's news. All you got to do at this point is you got to click in the middle of the lower right corner where you see the arrow pointing up. You click on this. You want to scroll down and you want to click add bookmark. Very important here is that you can actually change the name of the bookmark. It doesn't have to be the exact website uh, because you have the link of the website beneath. So you can actually change the title. And this is very important because if you have multiple different bookmarks, it will be much easier for you just to scroll through the titles to the names that you actually put individually rather than going through the links and trying to find out which one is which. After you're done editing the name, for example, right, you click save and you move on. Now, I'm going to show you how you can actually find your bookmarks, right? Let's say we already saved the Ronaldo's bookmark and we saved already 10 or 15 different pages or websites. The easiest way to access your bookmark list is to click on the icon that is next to the arrow icon underneath. You see there is an icon that looks like an open book. You click on it and here you will have all your bookmarks. You will have all your favorites. You will have groups and other information that you previously opened and saved in form of a bookmark. This is very important and this is where the key role of you naming each and every page or each and every website would play a key role because it will save you a lot of time. Just think about if you on a daily basis save different bookmarks, different websites, it will be extremely hard for you to go back to 360 plus different website or pages or bookmarks, right? But now if you have a bookmark that it says Ronaldo or Ronaldo's website or Ronaldo's webpage, it will be much easier to find it, right? Don't forget that you also can type and search in the search query bar that will help you to access the bookmark faster. So in this sample, I'm going to create a create a phone wallpaper design with snow on the trees and small ski ski jet ski jets around the forest let's create and let's see how it will go remember guys this is powered by dali again but it's so like unusual that every app works differently but even even though they might be powered by the dali they give a different result so look at this isn't it absolutely amazing so i believe this one looks so cool so if i if I show you this one, right, it definitely feels like a game. You see the small like jet skis and then you have like the trees and definitely looks, definitely looks so cool. Like if you look at the other one, right, we have even the 3D over here. It's, it's so cool, guys. You have like, like the skis on the side. It definitely, you can use this for like a landing page on your website if you're changing the landing page throughout the seasons and the quality is amazing you can see that there's like a frozen lake on the screen there's some snow on the screen of the phone in our example over here guys we are going to create a special new logo create a logo for a company that makes watches based in
Switzerland and make it inspired by Rolex the watches are made out of wood let's see where we're gonna get this is one of my favorite guys it it's really mind-blowing i created previously on case studies with this like a new york city in the sky new york city uh in the ocean like with the beaches look at what we just made unbelievable look at this rolex i think this is very cool this is absolutely amazing Tell me that this will not be like a limited edition so pretty right that's why i said that this this too it's absolutely unbelievable you see the bracelet looks like the president bracelet so far this is the best tool guys and you see this is like a real craftsman it's, it's really like like a limited edition collection look at this like a logo and stuff right everything is like a, uh, engraved with the wood this is how you create the best logo guys for more tips like this subscribe and like this video hi guys in today's video i'm going to show you how you can use the bing ai image creator powered by dali i've been making a lot of these case studies so you can go ahead and see the results that we achieved in my other videos we built a cities in the future we built uh, businesses uh, we build products, uh, prototypes for products. In today's example, guys, I'm going to show you how you can create and ask image generator to generate a whole collection of a future sport brand. So if you're new to the whole Bing AI image creation situation, all you got to do is to go on Bing.com and create an account for uh, Bing and then you simply come over here on the image creator and you start exploring For the people who are here for the first time guys every of this image uh, Every image that you see over here has been generated with the prompts above. So when you essentially click on it You will see what exactly the person created the image inputted as a prompt. So this is example for the robot we have 1970s Sai robot portrait uh, studio light on emerald colored background okay then you have a cute small forest zen wood temple 3d game isometric so what probably uh, states in front of you is that a lot of people are using keywords and not always in in a way in which they make sense but they make sense for the algorithm to generate the image to envision what you try to create because remember, all these images that you see over here are essentially a text. So for the AI to be able to, con to convert text into an image, it has to have a very good description and explanation. So in our case here, I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. Create a new futuristic brand for people who love sport use inspiration from Nike in particular Nike Air Jordan's high top Also, make the brand eco eco friendly. Let's see. I'm very excited to see what he's gonna come up with. We're talking about new futuristic brand based on Nike Air Jordan style, and it's also eco friendly. What kind of materials we're gonna come up with? Let's see. 
I want to make sure that you check the previous videos, guys. Amazing results we had. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at this, guys. It does say Nike. <laughs> I don't know why it says Nike, uh, but it still looks cool. Looks very, very cool. So this one does not say Nike. So I think this could be used for sure. Uh, it's like a robotic AI out of the universe type of style. Yeah, it still says Nike, but I mean, it looks so cool, right? Looks like a big, big city. Like there is a forest on the side, you get the ocean. And that that's not the earth, guys. The earth is right over there <laughs> with all the planes and stuff, right? Flying cars. I think this is so cool. If you really like reselling shoes, I think this is something that you probably want to use. This is what I meant by saying, guys. First of all, you got to use as many details as possible. Second, you got to comprehend yourself, your vision. I want you to make this. I want it to look like this. I want it to act like this. I want you to have this impact and, you know, be made of this like eco-friendly stuff, right? This is why we see the plants and this and that. For more videos like this, guys, subscribe and like this video. Hi, guys. In today's video, we're going to walk you through another case study how you can use the AI generator from Bing Image Creator. This is very easy tool that you can simply comprehend utilizing the power of DALI. We previously used it to create uh, current cities in the future, cities in the sky. We use it to create mockups for business ideas and prototypes for business products. In this example, we essentially going to go even further and we're going to uh, create a completely new uh, elements that simply doesn't exist in our society. For example, over here, if you're first time, come on over here, on the examples and the ideas that are underneath, you will see that when you actually put your finger on each of the images, you will see what was uh, inputted as a prompt. So for example, they inputted a realistic still life painting of a, you know, some particular fruits and vegetables. On next one is a waterfall that flows with a hidden cave into a crystal clear pool. So I hope you get the idea. You want to make sure that you are as detailed as possible because every additional word means that you are going to add or ask the AI to add additional element on the image, which make it even more unique. The next one over here, a picture of full landscape with trees, mountains, and river, except the trees are da 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 da. You see what I'm even saying? So in our example over here, guys, we are going to take a look and we're going to create uh, the best beaches with a lot of palm trees in Manhattan, New York. Make the palm, make the palms, make the palms green and tall and the beaches wide and with yellow sand include water sports around in the river like para sailing and wind surfing well guys we're about to have a lot of fun i just feel it just imagine manhattan with a lot of parasailing with a lot of palm trees around the island this is what i imagine let's see what the ai will imagine and like like you saw in my example i utilize a plenty of imagination plenty of wording a plenty of positioning of the words and this is where we what we came from. <laughs>
click on the first image guys and this is absolutely amazing tell me that you're not really excited and you're not like wow man can you imagine this would be the city absolutely stunning guys so if you come over here on the next one wow look at this parasailing you got jet skis you got sailings you got kayaking this is really cool this this is like a video game like a gti how about this one here this is what i meant guys you see if if i didn't include that we want to have a yellow sand and tall palm trees and sailing boats all around the place and parasailing right you're not gonna end up getting the the whole picture in one this looks like this looks like a miami you see with with the channels here of water this is amazing this is what i meant over here guys you gotta respect the hustle you gotta respect the, the ideas of people and the vision that's that's the main lesson over here for more videos like this guys subscribe and of course like this video hi guys in today's video i'm gonna walk you through how you should use the big ai image generator it is very easy very helpful and of course very powerful by simply utilizing one of the most powerful image generators such as dali so now guys as you can see over here we have a couple of examples where you can simply hover on and click a little so you will see what kind of information people inputted a delicious breakfast of fluffy pancakes stacked high in plate dazzle so the more details that you put guys the better output and results you will get also every time when you click on some image you will see a similarity okay you will see images that are in the same category or have been uh, described in a very similar manner and you will see the difference between one image to another so you can actually get the, the sweet spot look at this one abstract art paper origami diorama tokyo amusement park how about this one simple paper mache abstract paper okay how about this one so as you can see whimsical paper that there is something that is always similar and it repeats itself in the description in the images that are in the same niche you always have a diorama paper collage right and then everything else is up to you so when you come over here and you create uh, your account you log in into your image creator account you want to come over here and you want to describe as detailed as possible what your prompt supposed to look like right so for example if i say i want to see what a electric scooter built by tesla would look like with this was battery and design reminding reminding to this car make it look like as real as possible so based on it we can try to build the real thing okay guys are you excited to see what the heck we're going to get I've been thinking about this idea and I've been trying to create the mockups around this idea. But uh, let's see what the actual image generator will spit over here. Very curious to see, just think about it. Uh, I've been trying image generator for uh, building a New York City in different locations, but now we have a chance to look at something different. Okay, let's take the first one. That actually looks so cool. I'm gonna be honest this is definitely something nice so let's see some let's see this one oh this is so cool it's 
crazy guys how how this can actually turn your text your imagination into a real thing now this looks like to average to regular okay this looks this looks kind of cool i like the big front headlight uh but i think it's still it's still kind of usual scooter nothing like crazy but i still think that you know you can use it for mock-ups you can use it to create a particular prototypes you know without any cost but the idea is that you want to make sure that everything is very real realistic something that you can utilize right away otherwise you might just you know losing your time and credits just you know getting some comic characters or whatever for more videos like this guys subscribe and like this video hi guys in today's video i'm going to show you how you can use bing ai image generator this is very very important because essentially you can create all these cool ideas simply by inputting your prompt or your vision or your imagination in the form of a text i want you to think about something when you look at these images everything that you see over here was a text prompt prior okay so the only inspiration here comes from your imagination so the main idea after you create your account and you log in into image creator at bing what you want to do over here is that you want to create a very important and detailed prompt so the more details you include in your prompt the better the results and the output will be as you can see over here this is a family of bears preparing for hibernation in their den okay if you look at over here a cozy cabin in the woods surrounded by colorful autumn leaves look at this a close-up of a red marble leaf in the veins and spots detaching from a branch. Look at this. Haunted castle with a dark night in front of it. 1970s dark fantasy book cover. So guys, essentially now we're going to create something amazing. Last time I did had uh, another video on the topic. You want to make sure you check it out. We created uh, New York City the island of Manhattan in the middle of the ocean which was mind-blowing so in our example over here we are going to create something surreal we want to see create Manhattan New York City as if we live in the clouds and make it uh, obvious that the earth is down there under the sky cities what else we can include i think that's okay let's see what what, what kind of results we're going to get uh, it's very very nice guys this is uh simply powered by dali which is one of the best if not if, if not the best uh image generator so what we can see over here the first one i don't like second one third one not so cool results let's pick this and let's take a look i mean it looks okay doesn't feel that we have the the potential let's see this one if i remove the ear this might actually be good but let's see the other ones because i don't know why they include the ear right let's see this one this one looks good in fact this one looks good if i remove everything around 
the the hands right if i simply remove everything around the hands you might be onto something and replace all the the surrounded background with the clouds Okay guys, I don't think this is exactly remove remove the body elements and make the back ground around the city in the sky. We need to learn how to play with this guy. So forget we we do have to attach and and be very good with prompting. Prompts are are the most important tool that you want to focus over here. Everything else could simply not be perfect, but the prompts have to be detailed and have to help the algorithm to really, you know, envision what you really want to see. I mean, not. Remove the ear. So far, so good, my dear friends. The, in the other video that I created, it was so easy from the from the first path. We just got what we're looking for. Uh, sometimes, obviously, it takes a while. But you know, with a little practice, you know exactly how to place your order, how to place your prompts. As you can see over here, we're getting more clouds and more clouds and more clouds. So if I come over here, you will see this is very, very similar to what we're looking at. And it looks cool. For more videos like this, guys, subscribe and like this video. Hi, guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Microsoft Bing Image Creator. It is very, very interesting, guys. Very useful. You will be able to create amazing designs, as you can see over here. These particular images are simply powered by DALI 3, which as you may have guessed is extremely powerful. Very important, first thing you want to click over here, join and create. You want to create in after you sign in, right, with your account. In our example over here, guys, we are going to create something unique. We are going to create a city in the middle of the ocean that is looking like New York City. Well guys, now we are waiting to see what will be the result over here. Very, very interesting, you know, it is it is easy to use. You don't have to have a specific particular knowledge or you don't have to be a designer or, or creator. You can just use your imagination. It usually takes uh, a while, but it depends on the traffic, depends how many people are using it. If you can see over here what uh, has been given here as an idea, as an inspiration, if, if you can see there is uh, an astronaut, right, that is not actually in the space. It looks like he's floating somewhere else uh okay oh wow just look at this look at what we created over here guys if you click on on one of these images right you're gonna essentially have this amazing amazing creation so guys what we can do this first of all you can click share right you can share this uh to a website you can share you can copy the link you can uh you know put the link inside your blog post you can come over here on the plus sign that you see over here you can essentially save this into your images because you have a collection right usually people create collections or you can click on the three dots over here and simply click download this is simply uh, unbelievable as you can see the quality of it is saved in 262 kilobytes so it is not a large uh, format right so you click over here you click download and then you simply download it okay this is how simple it is so if you look at the other images, so if we close down, we can look at, wow, look at this image, guys. This is simply unbelievable. Just think about how you can utilize this in your own, you know, world. Just, you see, we have a two, 
uh, statues of liberty right you have multiple crossing bridges it's absolutely stunning and this has just been generated and created from uh, like I said just one simple prompt look at this so guys this is how simple it is if you want to change something right you can click on the text underneath and you can essentially add to your previous prompt for example uh, you know if you if you want to come over here you can simply create and you can add more to the items the more important part over here is that uh, you have this uh, small uh, lightning on the side uh, so this might essentially means that creating images more quickly with boost that will essentially help you to speed up the whole process right this is kind of an upgrade so uh, essentially you can utilize many many functions but this is simply mind-blowing guys for more tips and tricks like this subscribe and come back for more